first day of high school. How are you feeling? I feel like it should be a good time. You haven't been to school for a whole year. You missed the whole of year six. Did you miss year five or did you go year five? I went year five, start of year six, I missed out. So you missed out the whole of year six, homie. Now you're going back. You're going back straight to year seven. Big school, you know. Is you it? You have like a hundred and something kids in your year alone. And then you got like another four years. Wow. Are you ready? Well, I should be. You got your big boy pants on. It's just normal <laughs> pants. <laughs> what are we doing? Are we having breakfast at home? Or are we going at these? You need to answer quick, because if we're going at these, we need to like jump in the car and fly. Um, no, we can have home. You can have something from home? Yeah. All right, let's go make some breakfast there. My big boy now. <laughs> Leaving the nest halfway. Halfway. You're not, you're not fully out of the nest yet. You're halfway. <laughs> Caleb's gone. He, he dropped out. He dropped out, fell all the way down, flew by himself. Don't grow up too quick. This is gonna be the most fun part. Yeah? Okay. Transition day today at school for Zai Zai. So guys, in case you like don't know what transition day is, basically before he starts his new term in September, he goes to school for like one day where he can like get to know his teacher, his form tutor at least, the building a little bit and potentially meet some new friends. So today is a big day for Zai Zai. Like I can't believe my little buddy's growing up. <laughs> Me and Jerome were saying yesterday, ain't it funny? We've got one child going to college, one child going to high school and we gonna hit the reset button. <laughs> we started again. Honestly, the end of this summer is going to be so hectic in this house. There's going to be so many new routines and stuff like that because there's so much changes going on, guys, in this house. But nevertheless, we're still happy because you know why we're happy? We're happy because we are blessed. We're too blessed to be stressed. We got Jay over there making a quick egg sandwich for Zai Zai so that he could get his munch on before school because he cannot go to school on an empty stomach. That would just be stupid. And then we've got to go and get him a nice little bottle of water, you know. Um, he's got his bag here packed. So he's just got like his um, pencil case in it from last year. There's no point of us doing the whole back to school shopping just yet, but we will be doing back to school shopping, you know, during the summer. But for now, he's just going to use what he had from last year, take with him because it's only one day. But yeah, I'm super excited for him. Are you excited for yourself? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah? What are you most looking forward to about today? Oh, hold on, wait. I can hardly see you. Let's swap seats. You sit there and I'll sit here. <laughs> Swap. Oh, that's much better. I can see a gorgeous face. What are you most looking forward to today about your new school? Meeting new people and hopefully lunch will actually be good. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't enjoy lunch at um, primary school, did you? No. <laughs> no. So one of the things that Zai Zai said to me the other day, guys, is he was like, Mum, I don't really think that I'm like that much of a sociable person. Yeah, I'm not. You're a little bit like dad like that, aren't you? Thank you. No, you're not, you're not like me. You ain't like me. What are you talking about? Bro, you're a little bit anti as anti. well. You're a little bit I anti. I don't like people. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, do you feel like you're going to struggle with, like, socialising or do you feel like you're going to be okay? Um, I'll get into it, but, I, like, first week maybe, I'll struggle a bit. Okay, so do you feel like you're going to be a bit quiet today at school? Probably. You're just going to be observing. How many friends do you know? How many friends? Um, two. For sure. For sure. Yeah, so two for sure, and, and you're not sure. And you will probably be surprised to see some more. Yeah, you'll probably see a lot of more people. The thing is, yeah, that's really, really good it's about... It's a big school as well, so... Yeah, it's a big school, but also you've played football for quite a few different teams as well, locally. So hopefully... For and against. Yeah, for and, and against. So you would hopefully have met or seen some of the guys that are going to be going to the school, so... We'll see, we'll find out, won't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, okay, in the meantime, this is mm -hmm. breakfast. When you come back, okay, eat, you eat up, to, eat up. You have to tell us everything, yeah? Give us all the info, because what he's going to do, he's going to be like, it was okay. And then, <laughs> God, I don't say nothing. Well, guys, apparently, 
I was uh, looking into this. Apparently there's ways that you can coax information out of your kids because most kids give you like simple word answers like, how was your day? Fine. Did you enjoy your food? Yeah. Like, so you have to, it's the way that you ask the question to how much information that they give you. You can't just, you can't just say that it's just Zai Zai babe because apparently all kids do that. So it's down to us to coax the information out of him. Anyway guys, we've got to leave here about half past because we want to stop off at the shop. Before we go, we're going to walk up there. We want to stop off at the shop. It's only like a five minute walk to be honest, but he has to be at school for quarter to nine. But we want to be there a little bit early because I want to explain to the teachers why he's not in a uniform. Because on the letter it says everybody wear your primary school uniform. But as you guys know, Zai Zai has been homeschooled for the last year and a bit. So he doesn't have a uniform. So this is how he's going. We tried to make sure that it was like as uh, like less patterns and like as inconspicuous as possible but yeah this is this is the best that we could do this is Zai Zai we're talking about guys he does like a lot of patterns and a lot of colors in his clothes so this is the best that we could do right <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're gonna leave soon so that we could get there a little bit early so we can explain to the teachers why he don't have a uniform on yeah this is the only time you're gonna look cool coming to school ever. <laughs> like after this year you're gonna be in some dead uniform <laughs> Get, just get a big well, get a big one, big round one. Yeah, that one. Get one of those. So you're gonna be able to come to the shop by yourself before school, get your little bottle of water or your Lucasade or whatever, you get me? Go to school, all that stuff. Yeah? You're able to do that on your own. How are you feeling right now? <laughs> Sad. <laughs> He's even walked off and left us. I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> Okay, I know, his truffle just ran enough already. He's ready, he's ready. He's ready to leave us. I remember this day with Caleb, to be fair. It seems like not that long ago, but it was five years ago. Five years, bro. You see, you see how he crossed me? This is cute. This is cute. He's even waiting to see how much time he had left. I just crossed the road. I was just watching him, you know, to see what he was doing. I was going to stop him here, but I thought, let me let him go and see, yeah? He didn't even check the van to see if the van had turned red or anything yet. The van just cut, cut left us guys. No, he's got to get, he's got to get. He said, because you're wobbling, that's why. Huh? Because you're waddling. No, I was walking ahead of you guys, what are you talking about? Yeah, I was waddling, so he was like, bye. No, see that's not true. <laughs> Because he was waddling, I'm telling you. I can push my belly out like this, yeah. No one ain't gonna tell me no. That's what's good about being pregnant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no more time, yeah. When you're trying to look slim ting, you have to like suck in your belly and have to push her. No one ain't give a continental about my posture. <laughs> That's you. Not when you're pregnant. I walk with my belly out all the time. Let your belly hang. My belly hang. Anyway, we just finished off dropping off Zai Zai. What we got what we got to do today? We have got to go to the hospital. We've got to go to hospital, guys. Because this little baby is giving us problems. So basically, it's hiding from the midwife. So the midwife can't measure the baby properly. So I've got to go to the hospital to get a scan so that they could take the baby's measurements. That's what I've got to do today. I'm excited I'm going to get to see the baby yet, but honestly, honestly, I feel like We've had so many additional appointments. So I was talking to my friend about this, yeah? And things are different from when the last time I had a baby because, you know, they be doing a lot these days. Like, I don't recall having so many appointments at all about so many things. And I feel like, I feel like even the way that they check the baby, it needs to be updated. I feel like it's a box ticking exercise at the moment. And I feel like it's not right. Like it's it's outdated, it needs to be done differently. But you know, there's me not studied a day in in, in her life in the medical field, <laughs> but got an opinion. <laughs> so Jay has to go get me a bottle of water because I'll be damned if I get there and they go be like, oh your bladder's empty. 
I don't know how they expect a pregnant woman to have a full bladder to go and do these scans when all you want to do is wee constantly. I wee like every five minutes. So, and then they want to delay your appointment as well because they'll say, oh yeah, come in for 11 o'clock and it's all 11.30 before they see you. Of course I've weed since then because I'm pregnant and the baby's pressing on my bladder. See him come out already. It's waiting yeah, for him to cross the road. You didn't even know where the traffic light was. You started to walk down this side. He's gonna walk home. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, I gotta wait for the parentals, innit? He's about to start walking home. He's gonna be like that. Hundred percent not all there with it. How short he is compared to Azzy. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Come over. Oh. Oh, hell no, my legs. Come on, man. Come on, man. I didn't know it? it was that light. How was it? Um, it was good, but fine. What, what does good, that mean? Good, but fine. That was yeah. fine. It was all right. How the, was only, the only time I saw him was at lunch. Break time. Yeah, yeah lunch and break and lunch. Okay. But at lunch, they barely let us get any fresh air. We, we were literally outside for like 10 minutes. Break time, we didn't even So, um, exactly. you only got one break and a lunch time, yeah? Yeah. Did you do lessons today or yeah, were you in We did, um, what's the first time? Some spaghetti and... Oh yeah, spaghetti. We're trying to build a tower. Yeah. Oh, okay. Spaghetti tower. Yeah. So spaghetti. Did you stay in your form groups? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but in September we changed. You're going to be mixing around, around yeah. yeah. Big well, boys. Well done, guys. Well done. Big boys. You've, you've completed <laughs> your transition period. <laughs> Are you like guys ready? Are you going to the um, one week thing in the summer holidays? <laughs> don't even know about it. Yeah, don't know about it. About? So it's like like what they did today, but you do it for a whole week. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> 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 he said, uh oh, oh. You I'll doing see, it, Zai? I'll, I'll see you in September. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna do it one week, okay. one whole week. I don't know. You don't know, that's a no, he ain't doing it. You know there was it. He ain't it. doing it. He's like, it's a it's bad enough that I'm already going to school in September from homeschooling. You ain't trying to get me to go in August. <laughs> I just finished school. It was um it was okay. Um the one lesson that I did enjoy was I think it was science. No, not science. It was like it was like a building tower, I think. So you had to get like spaghettis and marshmallows to build the tower. Um, lunch was actually good. It was a lot better in high school than primary school. We're just about to head to my one-on-one -on -one training. Hopefully I could learn some new skills, new moves and try and improve on them. And hopefully I could use them in a match. Because tomorrow, we're back at Luton tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, gotta make sure we're sharp, you know? Pre-season, pre-season's basically starting for us, but we gotta make sure we're already sharp for when we go back. So that when the coaches see you, they're like, okay, I see you. You get me? I see you. Well, okay. Um, maybe you'll see me, see a little bit of me training. Who knows? Oh, there you go. All right, guys, gonna leave Zai Zai to do his training and focus. Make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and we'll catch you in the next one.